Hi, collective. Thank you guys so much for the likes, shares, and subscribe. So let's get right into the reading. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys really been enjoying the reading. Sorry, I have so many personal readings to catch up on. But next week, I will be bringing it. Okay, honey? So let's get right into it. The Five of Pentacles, the King of Swords. So I feel like a possible earth or air sign could be in their heads about you. Also, I feel like someone know that they they want to ask you for a loan. They want to ask you for help. They know that they need your help, but they feel like they can weather the storm, possibly with their karmic energy. Yep, the Ten of Swords. This person could be put in a painful ending to a karmic situation because they feel like it's more painful being without you. I'm getting the channeling. Though my days are cold without you, and I'm hurting while I'm with you. You know my heart can't take no more. I keep on running back to you. So, someone expected you to run back to them, okay? Yeah, the full card coming out. You have new changes, new adventures, okay? You're taking a leap of faith, and I feel like someone thought you was going to take the leap of faith towards them, but you took it towards your goals. Yeah, the end of a tough cycle is approaching, okay? It's time to put an ending to a certain toxic situation. I feel like someone wanted you to wait, but now they want to come in and tell you some intellectual truth. Also, someone could be telling you um, they love you for the first time as well. Yeah, I feel like they was dealing with the karmic energy that was used in their body here with the temple of my body. Yep, a personal issue reaches resolution, so... There's about to be a shocking turn of events. I feel like a masculine energy could be once and for all leaving a karmic energy here. I'm seeing authority in the number four here. So yeah, someone wants to come and build a firm foundation here and bring this authority and structure. Yep, rubbing my nose. Honor your inner knowing, okay? Definitely it's time for us to get into our herbs and definitely search up our zodiac sign foods. Yeah, I'm seeing here, I will have a good business attitude. First card to flip out. So, yeah, I feel like you're focused more on your business attitude here. You don't want people to shift you out of that direction. Yeah, so I feel like you have something going on here. Someone could be trying to use fake accounts to get to you. Yeah, I'm seeing here, speak your truth here. Yep, online looking for info or records. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to be putting someone in their place or the divine is here because someone just won't leave you alone. They just won't stop stalking your page. I mean, this could be a good and a bad thing here because I'm getting a karmic female and a masculine energy. Yeah, with the home life, someone could be stalking your page and home life. Yep, you have hope restored here. The universe wants you to... Work on any childhood trauma. Let go of the past here, childhood wounds. I definitely feel like you and your person, your divine person is mirroring each other here. Also, your twin flame, they know they made the wrong choice. Yeah, your twin flame could have been a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. But I'm seeing here, yeah, someone is definitely pocket watching you. The chariot card, because you have... Uh, 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 you have a sense of direction here control and willpower i feel like someone have a lack of direction and i feel like you rode into abundance even by yourself here yep you continue to pray ask the divine ask your angels on what you need to do next okay you jumped out of any illusions here someone could be putting up some illusions and you're going to be like are you serious yep aries the osage capricorn virgo taurus yeah don't get overjoyed about something here i'm seeing here someone is lying about something so, yeah, seeing everything this person did. So I feel like maybe this person been away for a while because the divine kept this person away for a reason. Yeah, I'm seeing here gifts in exchange. So someone do want to come in and give you gifts in exchange. I just feel like they had some hating family members in the background. Yeah, I judged you with these hating family members. Make peace with your broken pieces. Yep, someone got a secret possible pregnancy they could be hiding from you. Wow, they could actually be wanting to express this for some. I just saw 444 as I saw wanting to express this. So yeah, maybe your ancestors is bringing this to the surface. Yep, all she do is take, take, take. So this karmic energy is pregnant by a masculine. 
and they feel like they're stuck. Yeah, social media stalking you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio went through a great awakening here. So did a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The universe wants you to pay attention to the red flags here. What else should my collective know? Oh, wow, because someone has jail. Okay, yep, I'm seeing here a time for change. So if someone don't change here, they could be going to jail. Yep, but time to be unapologetic on the back. So for half of my collective, it's time to calm down. This could be these masculines here. It's time to calm down on whatever they doing, whether that's fraud, whatever they doing. Cheating the system, it's time to calm down off that because you're going to jail. But I'm seeing here, as for my feminines, it's time to be unapologetic. It's time to live in your truth, stand in your truth. Yeah, you leaving legacies behind. Yeah, I feel like you could be going to get something new, whether that's new clothing, hair, anything. Just something that signifies your rapid growth, your self-love. Yeah, someone wants to know, do you still think about them too? This Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, someone is very, very, very weak over you, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or I just feel like if you was dealing with one, they, they find you as a weakness here. Yep, my mother is possessive over me, so that's the truth. There's a pick me in a mother possessive over a masculine energy. What else should my collective know? Okay, so I'm constantly seeing here closure and wake up call so yeah yeah i'm seeing here a setup and moving in together so yeah just beware there could be an ex energy here trying to confuse you here because you're in recognition and reward you're leaving legacies behind this person see you breaking generational curses just beware i feel like someone is trying to use someone for finances it's overall what it's saying here because there's the possible pregnancy. Also, I see here, um, yeah, in black magic, I'm seeing here, um, yeah, adore and admire you. So these energies that send a negative energy your way, your haters really adore and admire you. But I just feel like watch out traveling with anyone. Like I said in my other collective reading, watch out accepting invitations yeah stay celibate and waiting for the right ones to come along i feel like someone is in this user energy yep games being played a stubborn person a hard-headed person yeah they feel like you're not just done with them it's only temporary but the universe wants you to focus on this legacy that you're building don't tie yourself up into things yeah rushing things and red flags don't rush anything yep deception is indicated someone is lying yeah, I'm seeing here man influence insisted. So I feel like there was a friend that could have insisted this individual to come back and make one last offer to you collective. But I'm seeing here this invitation is not safe. I'm also seeing here you are much better without this person. I feel like you could have been caught this person up here. Yeah, I'm seeing here you never want to feel that way that you was feeling ever again. Yeah, I feel like someone is definitely missing your touch. What else should my collective know? Yeah, tabletops, okay? So, someone misses having love, making love with you. Yeah, I'm seeing here a karmic energy, a karmic earth sign. Wow, so this karmic earth sign or water sign is very ungrounded here. I'm seeing here, do not have sex with this person right now. It's not a chance. Yep, I'm not the same without you, okay? So this person wants you to know that they're not the same without you. I feel like a fake friend cycle could have influenced this as well. Yeah, I'm seeing here a leech and dreadful. So don't allow this leech to come back here. This person wants to dread your energy. Let's get some pull tarot on that. Leech. Okay, this fell right out, the Ten of Cups, because you have new true love coming towards you, and you don't want to mess that up by sleeping with an individual that's not for you, a karmic partner. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. Invest into yourself here, because once you do that, this true love is coming in. But I feel like we're getting hit with the same test over and over again until we pass it. Yep, with the Six of, one, with the six of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I'm seeing here that we're building a firm found foundation here, but it's time to be creative in that. Also, I'm getting that 
when you build this firm foundation with this new love, they're going to give and receive with you, okay? You're going to be able to take your rest here. I just saw the Four of Cups. You're going to be able to take your meditation. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands, when it comes to access, you, you, you have protection from that. You're going to persevere. I feel like you could care less about what they think. I feel like I also just saw the magician here too. There could be an ex-lover of yours that will do black magic if it comes down to it because you're going to have new love here. So can we get one on the new love? The tower, yep. Shock and turn of events. Okay, so this is going to be a very surprising twist here. Yep, the six of swords. This new love is going to come in once you release baggage. It's time for you to cut someone off that keep confusing you here. What is this? The six of cups. So it's time to balance out your higher self with yourself now okay write a letter to your higher self here what would you tell yourself is what i'm getting from that yeah with the four of swords this person wanted you all in your head not being able to get out of bed here but the universe wants you to you've been thinking a lot and it's time for you to get out your head share that communication and cut it off is what i'm getting from this um Say your last words and cut it off is what I'm getting from that four of swords, six of swords, the tower for new love and coming in. Yep, the page of cups. This person is in this page energy. They only got a little offer to give you here. But the universe knows that you strong enough to tell this person like, no, not today, not now, not never. Because I'm waiting on this new love here. I have limitless possibilities. What's behind that? The temperance here. It was in a reverse, which meaning it's time for us to get some patience here. Don't rush this like it said, because there are some red flags. So let's get some pull messages out of this. Past life emotion lives in you. You are expressing more and it is releasing beautiful energy. It is safe to let go. You are surrounded by love, collective. One more. Miracles happen. Give the universe your clear intention. So I definitely feel like you are about to receive these blessings. Um, You could have came to realization that this person was blocking your blessings. Okay. Also messing up your time management. management. Yep, your trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly and worry. Okay, so I feel like you worried if you could trust this individual here. But you need to trust yourself. You learning that worry does not change an outcome. What someone did before possibly won't change this time. So it's time to release worry and trust the divine is what I'm getting from that. One more. Yeah, denial. Do not be in denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Being more aware. Yep. Failure imagination and indecision so i feel like you're indecided undecided on what you're manifesting how you want your new love to be but it's really time for you to look at things with a new perspective definitely write that out definitely engage more into your self-love here your meditation yep i'm seeing here hiding other motives underneath that smile so someone is hiding other motives underneath that smile here this could be a twin flame situation. I feel like you're saying no to. I'm seeing here the temperance. Surrender. You're almost there to achievement here. Have patience. Okay. You're finding meaning for purpose. Okay. Wait your turn. So wait to these true love offers coming here. Um, Like I said, with the temperance being in a reverse in my tarot deck, I'm just getting that. Yeah. Someone got communication issues. They also got commitment issues. And I feel like the universe is saying you need to start rushing this and have patience because this person is not ready to commit anyway yeah i see i've had a std before on the floor and emotional they feel like they lost you so i see i had a std sti before on the floor and they wish they they feel like they lost you so what i'm getting from that that could be an ex of yours not this twin flame that could be an ex of yours that's trying to come back like i keep telling y'all it's someone from your past that really really wants to come back and I feel like someone, somebody is emotional because they know they did too much and they know that this was a dreadful situation here. And for you to take them back, you would only be a fool, but not the good fool. You would be the fool of you took the wrong leap of faith. You're living in denial to think someone is going to change. Yeah, I'm seeing here makeup. So yeah, some of my feminists. 
You could be into makeup. You could just be loving on yourself. But I'm, I'm overall getting is that someone is not changing right now. It's time to love on yourself. Do something you like doing. Do your favorite hobby here. Yep, I'm getting hobby. Will of Fortune. Change cycles. Good luck. Fate. Period. Meant to be. Good luck. Good life cycles here. Um, I definitely feel like someone was being very clingy. And if they do be very clingy, I'm seeing underneath that bad luck. So if this person come in with no control, you need to either not answer the phone or you don't need to go to the invitation here. Because someone is doing something. Yeah, they, they could be in survival mode, living in fear here. Yep, I'm seeing here. Don't choose to ignore your intuition. Challenge yourself for the next 30 days. Yeah, healing childhood trauma. Keep people out your business. Keep this earth sign, this water sign out your business. This earth sign is inserting themselves. Okay, they could be in some silent energy. They feel like you're very wise here, collective. But I'm feeling like right now you're guarded for a reason. Yeah, this karmic energy that they're with is a Salome energy. Seducer. That girl is poison. Crossing the lines, temptation. So, yeah. Salome. I guess that's how you say it. Um, so, I got Jezebel, Lilith, and Salome. So, this is a Salome energy that this person is dealing with. A seducer. Crossing the line, temptation. So, this person could be in this seducing energy. They're going to be very tempted. Yep, I'm seeing here, where are you? And I feel like you took that leap of faith into the world here. Wish fulfillment, harmony, completion. Okay, yeah, this person didn't want to give you closure at first, but now they do. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords, because you... You in that position where you cutting things off here with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. You focused on your money, but because this person was focused on money more than love, more than a divine, it seemed like to you, you're releasing them. You're releasing this money hungry individual here. You have, you hold the ball, the ball is in your court, okay? It's up to you on what you will and won't allow in your life. Middle of my deck. The Knight of Wands. Yep, someone is taking forward action, forward movement on you. Yep, the Ace of Swords. You could have gotten the mental clarity on what you need to do next. Like I'm telling you, move forward here. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. The Emperor. You're going to have someone bring this new authority, new authority, new structure. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles here, I'm definitely feeling like long-term view, long-term success. So this next, this next cycle you're going with, it's going to be worth it. But right now, you will be tempted by this Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio. Um, someone is lying to you. But they do find you very uh, independent. Yeah, this person could be in some type of... I don't know. They're, they're set tripping. So they're hopping from one woman to the next is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Use your discernment. Know that you're protected by this. And know that this person is very flighty. Yeah, you could be overwhelmed by all this. But use your heart chakra here. Open up your heart chakra communication. Using compassion, loving energy. I feel like, yeah, your heart chakra right now is blocked by grief. And the universe wants you to kind of eat your heart chakra foods. And just stay grounded here. Do your meditation. Okay, go for a walk here. Yeah, with the two of cups. And the king of cups, I'm definitely feeling like a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sag have some, I would say, mutual attraction towards you. But some of these earth and water signs, they fraud, okay? Not all, but some of them, what it's saying here, they, they coming in with this lovey-dovey offer. But it's a fraud here. It's definitely a fraud. I'm seeing here the wounded warrior. So you've been through cycles with this individual before and you're you're moving forward. Yeah, what did I say? Sagittarius and why? Yeah. The world energy. Six of pentacles. You have limitless possibilities. You have better love offers here. Just know that this next person is about to give to you like you haven't been given to in a while. And I feel like the universe is saying... Don't rush this. Yep. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Yes. So I'm seeing here this the universe is saying don't judge your twin flame, but be strong enough to release this person without any judgment because we are all going through our own 
wounds and healing here yep it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself now is the time to give to yourself so let's get one last kipper yep thief, thief and thoughts thief and thoughts so just beware of these i just saw 2020 when i said beware so you could have met this person in 2020 this person could have been thinking about this in 2020 something here concerning money your independence here um also a karmic energy could have been stealing from this masculine in 2020 and this masculine could have awakened that someone been stealing from him so it's either someone wants to steal from you or a masculine has awakened that this karmic been a thief the whole time so let's get some angel messages here listen to your intuition love within the next few months within the next few months the answer is no right now so i feel like this real true love is coming within the next few months or it's gonna take off around that time and i feel like right now don't rush anything yeah in the near future this new love is coming in the near future last two yep it's time to let go yep it's up to you it's up to you if you want to go through another karmic cycle i feel like you're moving forward so i really hope you guys enjoyed this bye